Elementary canal. Elementary canal is long and muscular tube of varying diameter which extends from the mouth to anus. It is associated with digestive glands like salivary glands, liver, the pancreas and the gastric glands. Stomach. The partly digested food is pushed forward in the canal due to rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the muscles of the canal called as peristaltic movement. This food goes down through the esophagus into a J-shaped stomach placed on the left side of the abdomen. The gastric glands present in the wall of the stomach release three gastric juices, namely hydrochloric acid, enzyme pepsin and mucus. Hydrochloric acid creates acidic conditions which are necessary for the action of the enzyme pepsin which digests proteins. Mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach from the action of acids under normal conditions. The muscular walls of the stomach churn the food and help in proper mixing of the food with gastric juices. The exit of the food from the stomach is regulated by the sphincter muscle which release small amount of partly digested food into the small intestine. Small intestine The small intestine is the longest part about 5 to 6 meters of the elementary canal fitted into a compact space in the belly by extensive coiling. Although it is much longer than the large intestine, it gets its name from its comparatively smaller diameter. The length of small intestine differs in various animals depending on the food they eat. Carbohydrates, proteins and fats are fully digested in the small intestine. Since this action takes place only in alkaline conditions, the acidic food received from the stomach has to be first made alkaline. Liver is the largest gland in the body which secretes bile juice and is stored in the gall bladder. Wherever food enters the small intestine, the gall bladder releases bile into it through a duct. Bile makes the food alkaline and breaks the large fat globules into smaller ones, this increases the enzyme action. Pancreas Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice. It has digestive enzymes like trypsin, which digests proteins, lipase, which break down fats, and pancreatic amylase, which digests carbohydrates. Thus, bile and the pancreatic juice enter the small intestine through a common duct. Intestinal juices Various intestinal juices are also secreted by walls of the small intestine to complete the digestion process of converting proteins to amino acids, complex carbohydrates to glucose, and fats into fatty acids.